Textbook Capital Structure Theory Miller and Modigliani, M and M, Theory Franco Modigliani and Merton Miller were among the first to describe how the capital structure decision affects firm value and the cost of capital. Two in its original form, Miller and Modigliani's M and M theory operated in a purely frictionless economy. Among other considerations, this economy is free of tax, bankruptcy, agency costs, and information asymmetries. The foundation of the theory is that the left side of the balance sheet, the assets of the firm and the management of those assets, drives firm value. M and M assert that as long as the firm is able to fund opportunities that create value, it does not matter how those opportunities are funded. Critics, however, were particularly troubled by the exclusion of tax considerations and the costs of bankruptcy. They claim that the tax savings due to the deductibility of interest payments to debt holders, added significant value to the firm. They also argued that the costs of financial distress could not be ignored since as debt levels increased, the likelihood of financial distress also increased, causing the value of the firm to decline. M and M revised their theory to include the impact of tax on the cost of capital and the value of the firm. 3 M and M Proposition I, which relates to firm value, states that the value of a firm will increase as debt is added to the capital structure. The increase in firm value is equal to the present value of the interest tax shield, the tax savings that result from the tax deductibility of interest expense. M and M Proposition II which relates to the cost of capital, states that the cost of capital will decrease as leverage is increased. Although it is true that as a leverage increases, equity becomes more risky and thus requires a higher return, it also means that a greater proportion of the firm is funded with debt. Since debt costs less and has a tax benefit, the cost of capital will decline with increased leverage reaching a minimum when the capital structure is composed entirely of debt, at which point the walk is equal to the cost of debt. The theory concludes that firm value is maximized and walk is minimized with a capital structure of 100% debt.